Gene Nichol was a darn good man. I was pleased to have him as president. I think he brought a new spirit to the school. The students, I think, never thought that we would lose our president. Gene Nichol was not only the president of this college, but he was a part of our staff. This hurts so badly because we are a community. That's why it hurts. This is a death in the family. You knew that he was sincere and genuine in, in being a part of this community. The greatest thing that he did was inspire students to be engaged civically. He became the symbol of openness and diversity and globalization. And that is really what this college is more. Michael Powell said in his email that that he was that he had information that we didn't have and he knew the better picture. But if he truly knows what's better for the college, then why are faculty striking? Why are faculty considering leaving? Why are students considering leaving? Why was there an impromptu rally yesterday? I think students are angry about the decision, first and foremost, but in addition and even more than that, we're angry about how it came about. The decision made by the Board of Vistas has really brought together uh, both faculty and students. I am a professor on tenure track and I lay that on the line for my students. Especially with the Board of Visitors, I think we did a lot to vocalize um, our opinion and it was kind of just pushed to the side and I think that they now have a lot to answer to. I am outraged by what has happened and I think that we need to take a stand. We need to speak out and we need to be heard because we clearly have not. We're doing a sit-in um, at the UC. Um, at 2 o'clock, we're going to have a town hall meeting. Um, we're going to have faculty and students speak. We're going to have a list of demands. I would like to, to know, um, you know, how a lot of these decisions were made. Um, and I, I think that as a campus community and as a family, we deserve to know that. People on campus do not like the way they're represented by outsider groups in the media. We feel that we don't have a voice in decision making about what happens on this campus. It seems to us that, that this is a decision that's been made according to the interests of people outside of the college rather than those inside of it. And it was kind of shocking that these people who come to campus four times a year and are so intricately involved with the operation of the college had never had a conversation with an average William and Mary student. I don't know and no and no one knows yet whether or not the decisions the board made were right or wrong because we haven't had any ability to communicate with them any um, input given and then any discussion um, with the board and the community as a whole. I went to the rallies and I wrote the letters but they didn't listen. They said that they would listen. They didn't listen. That's why I'm here. Hopefully our collective voices will be enough. This is really a very like organic outpouring of support and uh, frustration from students. We just want to express our frustration, um, write letters to the editor, make the media aware, and then also really like try to send a message to the Board of Visitors about what we're feeling right now. There was a statement made at one point that decisions were, were not made on the 10% that is the public, but rather the 90% that happens behind closed doors. Um, so what is that 90 percent? And since we don't really have the information that will persuade us, uh, then it's the decision itself that is, that is the problem. I don't think any of us want to return to a, an idea that the, the college exists in some ivory tower separation from the rest of the world. Gene Nickel doesn't deserve this, uh, the community doesn't deserve this, um, and the board doesn't deserve this. We need, we need to understand all points of view. And I think that the ultimate goal is to make the Board of Visitors more known to this campus so we, we can become more familiar with them, who they are, what they do, how they reach decisions, and making them more accountable by making sure we know how they vote and also trying to be a part of that vote. If the university is not about faculty and students, then I don't know what it is about.